Yeah. It's on. Bet a hundred out of dollar. That's a bet. That's a bet. Said I woke up feeling like I'm the man. I'm the man. What's the grind? YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Duffy, man. We back again with another video. And look, y'all, I know it's been a minute, bro. It's been a few months, actually, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's been it's quite some time. But look, we back. We here to stay now, bro. And we finna get right this year, bro. But look, today, bro, before we hop in the video, make sure y'all go ahead and like the video up, bro. It does a, like, it does a lot, bro. It literally gets the video to recommend it, all that good stuff, bro. If you're new here, bro, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And, you know, if you want to, bro, you can leave a comment down below. Let me know what I, what builds y'all made this year. But look, in today's video, I got y'all boys with the best, the absolute best playmaking shot creator build. Like, this is the best one. Like, there's no other one that's better than this one. You feel me? And um, this is my current build that I main at. And I use this build in the park, in the stage, in rec. 3v3 pro am wherever bro you name it bro this build you can use it anywhere all right starting now you want to rock with the point guard position whichever hand you want and you can put whatever number you want but you know I'm a, i love curry so i'm going with number 30. now for the skill breakdown aka the pie chart you want to go ahead and rock with the half green and half yellow pie chart the half shooting the half playmaking OG pie chart, the OG play shot pie chart. Now for the physical profile, you wanna rock with the first physical profile with the most speed. And now for these attributes, you wanna pay close attention here to put down exactly what I put down here so you can get the best outcome or best number of badges, however you wanna put it. But make sure you copy down exactly what I put down here. You can pause the video, skip through, whatever you need to do, just make sure you copy it down. All right, now dunk. And layup, we're gonna put that up, but we're gonna come back to that. But look, for the mid-range shot, bring that up. The three-point shot, bring that up. The free throw, all the way up. The post fade, you wanna bring this down to 78. Bring your post fade down to 78. For your uh, playmaking, we're gonna go ahead and put it all the way up. And then we're gonna bring it down and put our post control at 62. So it'll leave us with 24 playmaking badges, right at 24 and right at 25 shooting badges. All right, now for defense, we're gonna go ahead and bring the perimeter defense all the way up, the ladder all the way up, the steal all the way up, and the rest on defensive rebound. Now, go back up here to dunk, and I think it's minus one. Yeah, it's minus one. You wanna take one, yeah, one off your um, drive and dunk, and put it right there on your defensive rebound. And that'll leave you with six defensive badges. So one finishing, 25 shooting, 24 playmaking, and six defensive. I'll leave this here for a second for y'all, you know, you got to pause the video or if you skip through right here, you need to pause it, go ahead. All right, y'all boys got that copy down? All right, bet, say less. <clears throat> All right, moving on for the body shape. Listen here, bro, I'm telling y'all now, bro, you want to go with the slight body shape. I'm telling y'all now because Listen, if you make a compact, you, you can go compact, but you look kind of beefy. But if you go solid, defined, or burly, I'm telling, or built, you're gonna like, I don't know, bro. I just can't rock with that. I feel like I'm moving like a turtle if I do. Whenever you have slight, you literally feel like you're just floating, bro. You're flying and like, you're just too fast, bro. But you know, it's all a preference thing right here for the body shape. So listen, if you like a different body type other than slight, then you know, go ahead, go for it, bro. But Slight is the body type that I'm rocking with. For the height, you want to go 6'2". Six, 6'2". Two. Six, two. All right, for the weight, you want to bring the weight all the way down to 165. And then the wingspan, you want to bring the wingspan all the way down to 74. Lowest wingspan. All right, now for the um, takeovers. Now the takeovers, I chose sharp take. I feel in my opinion that's just the best takeover for this build because you can literally pull from anywhere in like in certain situations in the game bro and you have sharp take you can just make those tough shots shot creating i mean like i said it is a preference thing so if you like to you know fade in the park or fade anywhere you know shot creating is your badge or if you want to drop people get clips break the ankles play making you can dot your teammates as well they're not gonna miss with this but hey it's whatever your preference is, but I'm gonna rock with the um, sharp tape. 
and there y'all have it bro playmaking shot creator now i'm gonna show y'all i'm gonna show y'all exactly the badges i use on this build too and i will probably put in like a minute of clips of me just using my build at the end of this video as well too all right now for my one finishing badge i use giant slayer or i'll use slither finisher just switch between those two to be honest now for shooting i go ahead and use stop and pop sniper blinders dead eye mismatch expert hot zone hunter and then for my last one i use green machine so we have yeah, blinders dead eye hot zone sniper stop and pop mismatch expert and green machine now, i'm telling you now bro mismatch expert dead eye and blinders are overpowered it is ridiculous i'm telling you and stop and pop and sniper like you're never gonna miss like you really have to miss time your jump shot to miss and make sure y'all buy boost when y'all shooting too because i'm telling y'all you will not miss a shot like i'm telling you, you will not miss for my playmaking badges i'm gonna go ahead what i rock with is quick first step handles for days unpluckable quick chain bullet passer and then um i rock three on dimer and then one on bailout so you know if i ever need a bailout of a shot or you know just bail out anything really i can and bronze bailout works perfectly for me um sometimes i do switch the dimer up and go like floor general if my lock or something doesn't like dimer but majority of the time i just keep my bad set up like this now for defense i go ahead and rock hustler on gold interceptor on gold and that's about it bro hustler if y'all do not know is a great badge for like threes because like those inbounds when you're down there bro and you tap square for some reason if you have this badge on it leaves a way more inbound steals <laughs> and on defense i play um i'm the corner sitter so basically on defense i just send the corner i guard the lockdown in the corner and i play the passing lane so i use interceptor on gold because like you know that badge is just made for getting passing lane still so you know pretty self-explanatory but if y'all not there i have it bro this is my build these are my exact badges i use on my build i will be dropping a um a signature styles video very soon um aka the dribble moves my jump shot face creations all that bro so y'all stay tuned make sure y'all turn on the notifications um, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all like it up. If y'all are new to the channel, bro, do not forget to hit that subscribe button for your boy. And um, make sure y'all leave some feedback down below so I can read. You know, I love reading y'all boys' comments and replying to every single one of y'all. So, yeah, there's my badges. I hope y'all boys enjoyed this video. It's been your boy Duffy, and I'm out.